Welcome to another video on the channel. Today I will be showing you how to build a fast and infinitely expandable piston elevator. First, a quick demonstration of the elevator. Over here you can see that it can go up as many blocks as you would like. When you enter the elevator, be sure to put yourself in the center of the two blocks. When you press the button, it will quickly push you upwards. Once at the top, you can press this button to go down again like this. There you go. Now let's get into building. The amount of materials you will need highly depends on the amount of blocks you need to go up. But both on your screen right now and in the video description, you will see an overview of the materials per layer and also for the base and exit. So here we go. In order to keep the tutorial concise, I will make an elevator for only seven blocks. Let's start by building the base. To build the base, you put two pistons like this with two blocks on top. Behind the sticky pistons, you put two blocks and a repeater on one tick facing into them. You then place redstone like this and a repeater next to the blocks facing to the back. It is important to put this otherwise you will lock the redstone system. In front of this redstone over here, you can make your input however you want. Once we completed the base, we can start building the part that brings you up. We do this by placing seven observers facing down onto this redstone and also on the other side. We then place observers into this row of observers like this on the left and the same on the right. However, now we skip the first one. In the gaps in between, we put a solid block. Against the solid block, we would place one piston facing to the front of the build. In front of each of these pistons, we place a normal piston facing upward. Then we place next to the pistons three blocks outwards from the row of observers. And we do this on both sides. In between the rows we just made, we place one observer facing to the back, like so. Behind these observers, we then put one repeater on one tick facing to the front. In front of all the repeaters, we place one redstone. And then on the top, we have to place one additional observer facing down and one observer facing into it. This is everything for the mechanism that brings you up. After building the mechanism that brings you up, we have to make the ejection mechanism. To do this, we place two more observers onto the top observer like so, with two blocks next to it. On top of the observer and the two blocks, we place redstone. In front of that, we place two blocks downwards from it, on which we place two repeaters each on one tick. In front of the repeaters, we place two normal pistons facing to the front of the build. This completes your ejection mechanism. The only thing that remains to be built is the mechanism to go down. To do this, on top of the redstone, that is not the highest, but the second highest, we place two blocks like this, in front of which we can place the button. We then go to the back of the button, placing two blocks like this, and one block on the observer. We then go down in this crisscross pattern, like so. We then go back on top after we completed this pattern and place three redstone dust like this and a repeater in the middle facing forward on one tick. All the way forward, we place one redstone dust and a repeater placed facing backwards on two ticks. It is essential to put this repeater in two ticks, otherwise the system will jam. After you've done this, you can knock out the blocks in the gaps over here so that you can get vision on the pistons. On the top row, we put two redstone. On the one below it, we put a repeater on four ticks and one redstone behind it. Then in the middle, we place a repeater facing forward on four ticks a redstone and a repeater going backwards on four ticks. 
in this gap, we then again place two redstone, like before. If you want to continue, you keep making this crisscross pattern with the repeater going forward on four ticks and then backwards on four ticks. In the rows between, it is important to repeat this pattern of two redstone and then below it, the repeater on four ticks with redstone, then two redstone again, repeater on four ticks and redstone. And you can repeat this indefinitely. This is your finalized build. The only thing that remains to do is to cover up everything so that you don't get pushed out by the pistons. To do this, you just cover this up over here. You go all the way out. Make sure that the entranceway is only too high. Then you fill up the rest to the desired end exit, which is one above your highest piston. And that's it. The only thing that remains is to make a button that allows you to go up, for example, like this. So let's test it out. If we go inside, stand in the middle, press the button, it brings us to the top. If we then press this button, it slowly and safely brings us down. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.